All right, my last video I showed how you could take one of these uh, dollar store battery operated door alarm and uh, make a pulse motor out of the parts. And this is a kind of a sophisticated one that has the electronic circuit being triggered by a reed switch spinning the rotor around. But it also comes with a, um, a magnet in here and then the extra parts from the case are here and you can uh, take those parts and get a paper clip and bend a paper clip around the magnet and then tie the magnet on and tape it up and you can make yourself a nifty little Newman motor and that's uh, the parts from the uh, leftover parts from that door alarm and it makes a nifty Newman motor And what it is, is um, this is a very, very simple electric motor that Joseph Newman uh, became famous for. <laughs> very controversial, but it's an excellent starter project for people interested in building electric motors. And it's extremely simple. It's just a coil of wire that's wrapped around, goes around to the bottom in the same direction to a power source and then the make and break usually happens right here at the shaft and what you've got here is you've got one part of the the uh, circuit laying on the shaft and the other part is the contact point as the shaft spins around it makes and breaks the circuit and when that happens when the magnets in the right spot and this happens in the right spot the rotor rotates and I'm using a super capacitor here 2.7 volt but it'll run on a volt and a half to three volt battery of course and uh, today's the uh, second of July 2015 I'm lib motor and uh, this is the little uh, the little Newman and I put about uh, two volts in it it doesn't run very long at all but it's a fun little project and uh, just something that I wanted to share And that all came out of that door alarm. And the Newman motor was made out of this part with the magnet and then the bottom part of that. And those are the components that you make the Newman motor out of. Uh, the magnet is in this little case here, but the little case comes apart quite easily. You just take a paper clip and you bend it. And you put the magnet in there. And then I used uh, just some magnet wire and wrapped it around it and then taped it up and uh, that made the rotor shaft and then on this part here you uh, poke a hole in it on either side and tape that up put the shaft in the middle of it and that forms your uh, your motor and then the wire is just wrapped around that in the same direction about 20 turns on each part there and you just go around and round and round and one part of the wire is, of course, stripped down, take the varnish off of it, and lays on the uh, make and break. And then the other part of the circuit uh, lays on the shaft. And that's all there is to that motor. And then I'm just using uh, a couple of AA batteries on this to charge it up with. And you just lay that on there like that. And you don't have to use a super capacitor, of course. Just a battery works. And because it's out, out of balance, it kind of goes like a Bristol bot, which is kind of fun. Anyway, that's the little uh, door alarm window motor. Thanks for watching.